We're learning more about the MTA's plan to pilot platform barriers at three busy subway stations across the city. It's in response to the rise in underground crime and riders being shoved onto the tracks. Jessica Formoso is live in Times Square with new details on how long the rollout may take and how it's going to be paid for. Jessica. Good evening, Lori and Steve. The seven line here at Times Square will be one of the stations that will get those platform doors. But this morning during their MTA meeting, transit officials made it clear that even if the pilot program is successful, not every station will get the platform barriers. And that is because there are significant constraints like narrow platforms. Last year, there were 1,267 incidents of a person on the tracks, which is a 20% increase since 2019. Subway riders are ending up on the tracks, whether it's accidentally or because they're being shoved. There were tragically assaults and pushings, uh, just four in the month of January, but that's certainly four too many. One of those tragedies, the death of Michelle Goh, who was pushed onto the tracks by a mentally ill homeless man at the Times Square station. Since then, calls were renewed for platform screen doors to be installed in the subways. This morning at its MTA board meeting, transit officials recommending the technology, it says it will pilot the screen doors at three stations. The seven train platform at Times Square, the L line at the Third Avenue station, and the E-Line at the Suffolk Boulevard stop at the JFK air train connection. They represent a mix of different platform configurations. If the pilot program is successful, not every station will get them. That's because according to a 2019 report, out of the 472 subway stations in our system, barriers would only be installed at 128 stations, and it's estimated it would cost about $7 billion. There are significant constraints that would prevent a system-wide rollout, including primarily narrow platforms in our system that can't accommodate barriers while retaining ADA accessibility. Elevated platforms that can't support added weight of barriers and misaligned doors are also an issue at many stations. The MTA says it needs to examine some problems and come back with a plan for a capital project. If approved by the MTA board, construction on the doors could begin next year. I think we've been very open about the fact that we have to figure out how to fit this into the capital program. The MTA is also looking at expanding its use of track intrusion detection systems as well as other technologies like forward-facing cameras and CCTV. We're live in Times Square tonight. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Lori, back to you. All right, Jessica, thank you.